Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Fire, 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 Fire. I Fire. command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Say, God Almighty, you are holy. God Almighty, you are holy. Good afternoon, Holy Ghost. Good afternoon, Holy Ghost. I worship you. I worship you. I adore you. I adore you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. Take over me. Take over me. Lead me. Lead me. Guide me. Guide me. Protect me. Protect me. Bring my blessings today. Bring my blessings today. The Bible says that where two or three comes together in my name. Jesus said that there I am in their midst and also this afternoon Jesus Christ is here, the Holy Ghost is here, God Almighty is here, angels are here, we're in the presence of God and we'll have a privilege to go through the word of God together this afternoon. Amen. Let us go through the word of God from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 8 verse number 1. The Bible says that in the course of time, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them. And he took Metheg, a man, from the control of the Philistine. David also defeated Moabites. He made them lie down on the ground and measured them off with the length of a cord. Every two lengths of them were, were put to death. The, the, length, the third length was allowed to live. So the Moabites became subject to David and brought him tribute. The Arameans of Damascus came to help Adadezer, the king of Zobra, David struck down 22,000 of them. He put Gison in the Aramean kingdom of Damascus. And the Arameans became subject to him and they brought him tribute. The Lord gave David victory wherever he went. David took gold shields that belonged to the officers of the Hadadezer and brought them to Jerusalem. He sent his son Joram to King David to greet him and congratulate him on his victory of, in the battle of Hadadezer who had been at war with To, Joram brought him articles of silver and gold, and of gold and of bronze. King David dedicated these articles to the Lord, as he had done with the silver of gold and gold from all the nations he had subdued. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us start very well in verse number 1 of 2 Samuel chapter 8. When the Bible says that in the course of time, David defeated the Philistines and subdued them. He took Methag, a man from the control of the Philistines, then this afternoon, what I want us to talk about, you know, when the Lord was with David, David was getting victorious. David was getting victorious. David was getting successful. David was winning. You know, one of the signs 
or one of the manifestation that you see and you will see when God is behind you, when God is with you, one of the signs is the sign of victory. It's a sign of victory. The sign of success. When God is by your side, when God is by your side, one of the things that he helps us and helps you to achieve is to be successful. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let us go to the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse number 8. The Bible says that. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. That you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Then how is how was David getting successful? When you talk about success, how how do you how do you get successful? How do you get successful? In the life of David, is David just beginning to become successful? When you realize very well, if we can go a step back and we just go and follow how David was called, when the Bible said that God said to the prophet, Prophet Samuel, I have found a man after my own heart. I have found a man who cares about my business. I have found a man who cares about what I care about. Then you realize what is the secret. How is David getting successful? Success in the life of David is a result of David being in love with God. Being after God's heart. For example, in the previous verse, we are hearing about, in the previous chapter, we are hearing about David saying that, no, God, you have been too good to me. And now because God, you have been too good to me, I want to do something special for you. I want to build you 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 a house. I want to build you a house. I want to build a temple for God. Because God, you have been good to me. I can't have a house and God does not have a house. Then God, David was like, I want to build you a house. Then you see, these are the things that are making David to be successful. If, if someone is not really, have not found this secret, how David is getting, is getting successful, might think, oh, okay, it's just the matter of the strategy that David is using when he goes to war. And the, even though we can say the strategy, it's the strategy of David going to war, which God has given him first. And it's not just giving him the strategy of when he goes to war. But he's giving him that strategy because David is a man after God's heart. It was these things that are making God back up David and make sure David is successful. If you move a step back again, you will hear when the Bible is talking about the Ark of the Covenant, when you go to a chapter earlier, when the Ark of the Covenant was being brought in the city of David. And the Bible said that this time David was dancing for God. 
Then think for God until he forget. He took off even half of his clothes. He danced for God so much that he forget that he, you can't even tell that he's a king. And the Bible says that as he was dancing for the ark of for God, celebrating because the ark of God of the covenant was being brought into the city of David. He said that as the ark, they were moving, bring the ark, they must bring sacrifices. Then the, there were sacrifices which were being presented. And the Bible says that when these sacrifices were presented. David also is dancing for God, glorifying God. And why was he doing these things? Because David was a man after God's heart. David was a man after God's heart. He loved the Lord. He wanted to do the things of God with all of his heart. He wanted to make sure that God is happy. He want to make sure that the Lord is being glorified. And due to that, that's why today you are hearing about the record of, Je of David's success. That the Bible is saying that wherever he go, when you read in the book of 2 Samuel chapter 8, chapter 8, verse number 6, the Bible the last portion says that the Lord gave David victory wherever he went. Mm -hmm. Wherever he went, he was victorious. Wherever he went, he was successful. Mm -hmm. Child of God, do you want to be successful? Mm -hmm. Do you want to be victorious? Mm -hmm. Do you want to become somebody who, you know, Hey, you always succeed in all that you do. Do you want everything goes well for you? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you want everything to go well with you? The Bible says that in the book of Matthew chapter 6. Verse number 33, so the Bible says, Seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be given to you as well. Many people are struggling in life. Are struggling in life because they are trying to look for success. They are trying to succeed by themselves. They are trying to succeed by their own strength. And now they struggle because of that. The word of God is giving us the secret of success. The secret of victory. How David prospered because of the help of God. And how the Lord have helped David. Which part of it the secret was... David was, was, you know, was a man after God's heart. Child of God, we need to become a people who are after God's heart. We need to seek the Lord and his righteousness and all these other things shall be added to you. Amen. Our biggest struggles as the children of God must be the struggle of seeking God. One of the biggest struggles that you must do, you must, that's why you must struggle. The struggling of seeking God. As you, as you struggle seeking God, you won't struggle with all other things in the avenues of your life. You won't struggle with, with a success. In your academics, you are going to be successful. In your business, you will be successful. Amen. In your job, you are going to be successful. Amen. Until others wonder, how are you succeeding? How are you doing it? How are you making it? 
until they find out that you are succeeding because of divine help of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse number 4. The Bible said that the Lord your God is the one who goes with you to fight for you against your enemies to give you victory. The, Bible, the Lord your God is the one who is going ahead of you. You know, when the Lord goes with you to a war, when the Lord goes with you to a project, when the Lord goes with you, you know, when you are when you're gonna be going to that to that war, when you are gonna be going to that project, to that examination. To that, to that, wherever you're going to be going. You know, you are just going to represent him physically, but spiritually he makes sure that already you have succeeded. Already you are victorious. It is just a walkover. <laughs> I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. That means David... David's experience was a walkover experience where he go to a war and he does not struggle to win because spiritually the war already has been won. <laughs> spiritually already somebody has already passed. Spiritually already someone is victorious. Already someone has got a job spiritually. Spiritually, already someone is promoted. Spiritually, already someone is a millionaire. Already someone is a billionaire. And when that already whatever it's a, it is whatever that needs to be done has been achieved spiritually, physically, the work becomes so easy. That's why you are hearing about David winning wars. Without struggle. Because he's not going to the war by himself. He's not going to the war by himself, but he's going with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Child of God. As a child of God, you must make sure that you don't move like men. You don't move alone, but you move with God. Your movement must be the movement of God. Where God goes ahead of you and make sure that you are successful. I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. You have got a new week tomorrow. Today, which is starting today. A new day tomorrow then spiritually the Lord must go ahead of you and make sure that spiritually you are successful. Spiritually you are victorious. The Lord must bless away. Then after that you must just follow. When you just follow, I'm telling you, you're going to be victorious tomorrow. You're going to be victorious next week. You're going to be victorious throughout the month. That's why David is because, was successful because before he moved, the Lord moves. I've told you before how the witches orchestrate things. How the witches orchestrate things. You know, sometimes they, they go and plant an accident during the night. 
knowing that the following day, the following day when that car will be passing there, if they pass there, there will be an accident. But when, when did they orchestrate the accident? They orchestrated it the night before. Then the following day it happens. So there's in a similar manner as the children of God. When you are a child of God, when you are a spiritual person, your life must be orchestrated. With the Lord, you orchestrate things and the Lord moves spiritually and make sure that you are successful before you go. And tomorrow you go and you confirm what the Lord has confirmed spiritually. And the following day, it must be a walkover. The following day, it must not be a struggle. When you're writing that exam, it's no longer, it must no longer be a struggle because the Lord has walked before. The following day, I'm talking to somebody, I don't know on, on which fear you are looking for, uh, the help of God, but the Lord is going ahead of you. The Lord is going ahead of you to make sure that you will be successful in Jesus' name. Amen. To make sure that you will be victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. You will come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says that in the book of Exodus 33 verse number 14. The Lord replied, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Then Moses said to him, If your presence does not go with us, do not send us up from here. How will anyone know that you are pleased with us, with me and your people, unless you go with us? What else will distinguish me and your people from the all other people on the face of the earth? Then when the Lord goes ahead of you and with you, he distinguishes you. He distinguishes you and another thing that will follow you, it will be victory. Another thing that will follow you, it will be success. It will be success. I'm saying, child of God, you are successful today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are, you are victorious the, the whole of this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord grant you whatever you are believing in for in Jesus' name. Amen. How can you lose when you are going with angels? How can you lose when heaven is backing you up? I'm talking to somebody this afternoon. I say no more failure in Jesus' name. Amen. No more disappointment in Jesus' name. Amen. You are victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As, as long as you make Jesus your number one. As long as you make sure that you will love the Lord, you continue to do that. I'm saying that from today, failure the things of the past in Jesus' name. Amen. All is well with you in every sector of our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Financially is well in Jesus' name. Amen. In your career, all things are well in Jesus' name. Amen. Was the secret of David as he was going with the Lord, as he was going with the Lord, as he was moving with the Lord, nobody could stop him. As nobody and nothing could stop David, nothing will stop us in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will stop you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be victorious wherever you go. Amen. You will be successful wherever you go. Amen. As you, as you make sure that, hey, the Lord is by your side. The Lord is happy. Ah, I don't know whether you are hearing what I'm saying. Amen. 
You know, sometimes when you are doing your part, it seems as if, ah, what am I doing? But you are doing your part. As you are doing your part, don't worry, child of God, the Lord will do his part. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that as a result, hey, silver was being given to David. Gold was being given to David. Everything was... What he was looking for was being given. Child of God, let us continue to serve God. Let us continue to seek the Lord. And as a result, you will speak like David and say that the Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. You will have abundance of every good thing in the name of Jesus Christ. When I'm talking abundance, abundance of every good thing, abundance of houses, abundance of cars, abundance of opportunities, abundance of blessings. Amen. As you serve the Lord with the whole of your heart, Amen. He will make us, He will make you successful and prosperous in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. I love the word of God. I love the word of God. In the book of Job chapter 22, verse number 21, the Bible says that, Submit to God, be at peace with him. In this way, prosperity will come to you. Be at peace with God. Submit yourself to God. He will lift you up. He will bless you. He will prosper you. Submit yourself to God. Give time to God in your life. Time to spend time in in the presence of God. Time to pray. Time to do the things of God. Being obedient to his word. Do it. And the Bible says that in this way, prosperity is about to come to you. As you are doing so, prosperity is coming to us in Jesus' name. Amen. We will never be small in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In this way, prosperity is coming to us in this way. Prosperity is coming to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyway, because the midday service, can you say, my day is blessed. My day is blessed. My family is blessed. My family is blessed. My career is blessed. My career is blessed. Our countries are blessed. Our countries are blessed. Everything is turning around for my good. Everything is turning around for my good. I will not die before my time. I will not die before my time. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be sick in my life. I will never be broke in my life. I will never be broke in my life. Prosperity is mine. Prosperity is mine. Favor is mine. Favor is mine. Say devil. Devil. Take off your hands. Take off your hands. From my everything. From my everything. Say I lose angels now. I lose angels now. Angels. Angels. Bring my harvest. Bring my harvest. My miracles. My miracles. My testimonies. My testimonies. My jobs. My jobs. Angels. Angels. Usher me. Usher me. Everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. In everything that I do. In everything that I do. Represent me. Present me. me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. 
Lord. You are my savior. You are my savior. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Bless me today. Bless me today. Protect me from today. Protect me from today. From today. From today. I am born again. I'm born again. I am saved. I am saved. Send me the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The love of God. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us all. Be with us all. Surely goodness and love. Surely goodness and love. Shall follow me. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that in the book of Proverbs chapter 19 verse number 17. Whoever is kind to the poor lends to the Lord. He will reward them for what they have done. As a child of God, the word of God is whoever is kind to the needy. The Bible says that, that as you are kind to the needy, the Bible says you are lending to the Lord. Then that means today it's a Sunday. It says today it's a Sunday. We remind each other of giving. There are two kinds of giving. Giving to the needy, giving to the poor, and giving to the house of the Lord. The Bible says that in the book of Proverbs chapter 11, verse number 24. One person gives freely yet gain even more. Another one withholds unduly but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Then today is a reminder for us to give, to sow a seed, to plant a seed. And as you do so, Every seed be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That you have ever given be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That you will ever give be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every curse be broken. Amen. And I pray for breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough. Let there be breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I want to say to us this afternoon, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a successful day in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day, and afternoon, and night. Amen. Bye bye.